welcome to hands on with Jota. So I'm going to take a look into some of the different things in regard to these two different frameworks. One is going to be Fastify and the other one is going to be Express. So the idea of today is just to try it out one and then try the other and afterwards um, come to the conclusion of which will be for me the best use case for each one of these different two frameworks, right? So let's give it a try. I already have here a, com a folder comparison express fastify and I already have installed here fastify express and happy. We're going to see first comes first, we're going to see a little bit of which are the different offerings for each framework. Let's go for express. Express talks about a fast, unopinionated, minimalist web framework for Node.js. So basically these guys are in the market for a long, long time already. And the idea is that you can create a, in a very fast shape a software development with a Express and, and create these different middlewares that um, are going to be interacting with your request, response. And <coughs> basically we're going to make a very fast example of this one. And Fastify goes your way around in regards to instead of working with middle words, these middle words of express were in regards to working with the request response and one more term which is the next. So you go from one one layer to an next layer to next layer. Fastify works a little bit different. Fastify is a different proposal. It just starts talking about performance and um, and then it goes all the way to the high future to the core features, right? So it says that it is uh, extendable, it's game based, has login, and it is developer friendly with TypeScript ready. Okay, making a fast comparison in between Express and, and Fastify. Uh, I'm not going to make a measurement in regard to the performance of this guy in comparison to the performance of Express. Um, for several reasons. One of them is, is if I start working all the way with something that comes with um, the decision of going for Fastify or going for Express, I think that um, performance will not be my first decision. I will go all the way with some of the core features of the framework because um, I like to have things up and running and then afterwards I think that one of the last steps I do in development is going to be in regard to performance, right? So um, once I know that everything is working, then I, I measure, I verify the performance, I measure, and with these iterations, I decide to go for one thing or the other. I think that in regards to this particular point, if you go for this one because of the performance, it's because you are having problems with performance, with the current development that you have in another framework. And then maybe trying out a very small example and stressing that example and measuring it in your particular situation how it goes could take you to could take you to take this as a decision maker for going for fastify that's another topic so let's let's keep on going extendable it says here that you can extend by hooks plugins and the creators so basically what you work with expresses in regards to mere words here the proposal is with these three guys Hooks are going to be working in regards to the life cycle of Fastify. And then you have the plays and the creators, right? Um, schema based. So, a schema based uh, is in regards to validating some of the different endpoints. And I think that this is, this is pretty nice. I really like this one. Because every time I create a new endpoint, I want to have this endpoint properly validated. So, I think that this is a very, very good thing. And they are using JSON schema. The example that we're going to try it out is going to be using Joy schemas, which is slightly different. It's, it's different, but anyway, the idea is just to just to see what's the effort on doing one thing or doing the other thing, right? And, and and see how it feels like. Login. Okay, login. You have here the logs are extremely important. Yes, I agree completely. Agree with this one. Uh, and they are using Pino. The thing with Pino is that. Uh, it's it also claims to be super fast as well. <laughs> um, <clears throat> to be honest, I think that I, I will not make a decision on a framework in regards to login either. 
because of several reasons. I think that there are nowadays a lot of different ways to log information in a different endpoints. You can go for open, uh, open tracing, Zipkin, uh, Jagger, you can use um, a lot of different tools for debugging and, and, and taking a look into your different um, errors that you can have in your system. So I don't think that this is going to be my entry point for decision making of a framework, but this is just my particular case. I will even not use this guy. I will remove it at all and with no cost. So I, I, you can even go for some of the different Google Cloud. Uh, if you go to Google Cloud, you will see also the different logs for the endpoints that are being hit. So you can have these logs out of the box from Google Cloud if you want. Developer friendly. This is something I'm um, really interesting. I think that it would be very nice to, to know without sacrificing performance. I think that there are a lot of things that we can sacrifice. Um, of course, uh, I think that uh, being developer friendly could sacrifice not only performance security, could sacrifice a lot of other things too. But I think that uh, at some point, the point on this this one is just making making the developer uh, a more happy guy, we can say at the end. And we will see how happy I am after making a little example there. TypeScript ready. I think this is a point that I I believe that the two guys are out there making a lot of effort in regards to uh, Express and also TypeScript. They are all, all the way working with the type definition. So I think it is a good guidance for anyone who is making a development to have something to guide you along the way of your development with some types. So maybe some, maybe some people will say, no, but TypeScript is not what I look for. I want to use share stocks or whatever. Go for it. Go for it. It's, it's, it's good too. So my my point in regards to this one is that um, I think it is a good thing to have some types there and to, to have something to get to the users of this community. So let's go for it. Let's go for example, right? We have here. I will touch index express touch. The the the, the two frameworks are working the TypeScript very well, so I, I don't think that that's a, point, a, a relevant point to consider in this comparison, right? So fastify the chess. I will. I will open it with Express, and I will also open. I know I'm going to also open the Fastify. So we have here the two guys. Let's take an example of this guy here. This one. I like this one. It has a bit too much, but we're going to go for it. We're going to reduce it a bit, maybe. There we are. I'm going to remove the log as I said because it's not something that matters to me at some point. But if you wanted to do it in Express, then you will need to add a mirror for Express and Pino. Next step, let's take a look into this. This is this is at some point it's kind of weird. Uh, it says here that you're going to be evaluating your query string, which is going to contain a name of type string. I don't know how relevant or important it is to have this type string here because I think that um, it's a query string. It will not be something else than a string. So anyway, we are going to remove it. Response. So basically, the there are two different points that you can test it out and verify in an API. That's going to be the input and the output, right? So in this case, this guy is validating the output of this of this endpoint. It should be an object that contains the hello with the string. Okay, that's good to know. So that means if I return something else here, it should explode. And then you have hook here. This function is executed every request before the handle is executed. So you see, if this is happening like this, it means that it is inside of the life cycle of these guys. I will keep that comment. Console log. I 
I'll say it like that. And there you are, you have the hello world with fast five. Let's go for express. I will write it myself because I did it so many times that it's pretty much straightforward for me. But I wanted to try also another kind of um, another kind of solution there. I'm sorry if you're listening to some some sounds in the background. It's just that um, we I am right now in a bar, just having a coffee. So let's see. So we're going to return exactly the same that they are having here, like the hello, like this. There we are. And now we're going to say listen in the port 3000. Now this is going to crash with the other 3000 because we're going to open it in the same port as Fastify. So uh, listening port. 2001. There we are. Now this guy here has a validation of the schema, right? So for that we're going to use joy. Const joy. Let's go for joy and let's take a look into the page of happy.js. So this is happy.js joy. And have here the documentation of happy.js equal require joy and I think that it is I need to say happy joy yes this happy joy there we are so we have here the happy joy that's good now we're going to grab one of these different schemas so we are here like this one like this took so for this, we're going to need to create the schema also that they are using in Fastify, which is for the response validation, right? So, there we are. And instead of username, it's going to be name. It's going to be name now, it's going to be hello, because we need to validate that the hello is in string. So, basically, that's what this guy is doing. He's saying, okay, the schema of the schema schema hello world is going to be containing the hello as a key that's going to be in a string and the idea of this one is that basically you have here a um, result of any kind of process that comes from a model service or whatever you have here here is some processing to give back a here's some process that's going to give you back this result, right? And then what's going to happen is that if schema hello validate the result, basically if there's an error, because that's how these guys are going to be providing us a certain error. See, if there is an error, then we can even do it like this. Const, um, is error validation. And then if it's error validation, uh, Say response dot send status five hundred send oops just like that otherwise we just give a return here otherwise we are going to just give back to the user the result so this is part of the proposal what 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 we can do with this which is um, in the case of express, right? In order to make the same validation in the response, because here we are validating that the response is going to contain the string hello. 
right? And here we are doing exactly the same. And before to get this hello world, we should have some sort of process that gives you this result. And then you're validating that this result is in the way that you are expecting to be to give back the answer to the client. Otherwise, you just give something else to the client. In this case, I should say, oops. Okay. So there was a mistake in the server side that needs to bring up some sort of more meaningful message than this. Oops. But anyway, just for the sake of example, uh, simplicity, right? Let's keep on going. So 3000, 3001. Looks okay. We're going to open two tabs. It's a comparison. And we're going to open the index express. Hello. So, second one. Index fastify. So we can see that one is working in the port 3001. I will open it in not much. There we are. Hello world, hello world. So the two of them are actually working the way I expect. Um, so, the conclusion in regards to this example is the following. Basically, we have, we have the two solutions. The first solution is going to be in regards to um, the first solution is going to be in regards to Index Express and it's going to be working with different mirror words and you can have these mirror words that you can set up on your own way and that's going to be pretty nice, right? Pretty neat at some point. But of course it offers a lot of flexibility while the other one is going to have some sort of configuration. And the flexibility that Fastify is going to give you at the end is going to be in regards to in between other things as well, it's going to be in regards to this plugin. So you're going to be using uh, this, uh, not the plugins as well, but also the hooks. You have here the hook, but there is something in regards to the hook. You can see here that there is a deprecated warning in regards to the hook. So whenever you are going to be working with different, um, these different hooks, you have to take care that you're going to be working with the life cycle of the whole framework. So they can change things there. So my recommendation is to pay attention to the changes of the framework once you go for the option of working with the hooks. Um, what else? The second, the second thing is that um, Fastify offers a bit of configuration here and the configuration is pretty neat. If you're going to be working with a lot of different um, a lot of different APIs, maybe having some sort of configuration that helps to work with the basic use cases and solving the, the common use cases will save a lot of time and you will have the whole community of Fastify working for you for having these things up and running in the way that you expect so that's pretty handy and if you have like 10 APIs I think and this will actually make sense now if you go for the option of Express you're going to have a different kinds of situation there basically you're going to need to have your own foundation of different uh, different things that are going to be working with this and solving those problems for you, right? So my recommendation in regards to this one is that, uh, of course, then you're going to give those mirror words to the different 10 APIs that you have out there and that's going to make the trick for you. So basically, uh, these are two different do, these are two different options for from the market to all this. So I hope that you enjoyed the, the video of today and if you if you did so just give it a like and, and subscribe to the channel. Have a good one and thank you very much.